Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. So today I found this article on medium problem I have faced in bug bounty by unknown. If you hear my daughter screaming in the background, well, tough luck and get over it, I have a kid. And I would like to give this a read. This is from 2019, but I really liked this article. And I did like it for several reasons. I'll get to that as we read it. So let's get started. This is my first blog about bug bounty, my second I should say. You can check out my first blog that is full of resources and content for bug bounty hunters if you are a beginner with hacking or bug bounty and don't know where to start. This blog is for you. I will also put the link in the description, but today we are going to read the blog that we are on. I am very passionate about hacking from my childhood and I've started to learn how to hack two years ago. But, my, but for my study pressure in school, I kept my hacking journey postponed. So I kept postponing everything. I had pressure from school. I had to learn all the topics. But recently I started again about three months ago. I have learned lots of things and I come across this term bug bounty where you have permission to hack a company's website and it will pay you a good amount of money. I was like, wow. Well, not always, of course. We know that sometimes they give points, sometimes they give swag, sometimes like VDPs. So there are greatly paying bug bounty programs, but we know there are others as well. This is for me. So I started learning about bug bounty and writing a blog with all the resources I came across. The best way to learn anything is to teach others. So I wrote this blog right here, which I'll put in the description as well, and write down everything I came across. So what problems have I faced in these two months? I faced some problems growing myself and teaching myself hacking. This blog will uh, will not need uh, will not meet the needs of every bug bounty hunter because not everyone faced the same problems as I did. That being said, I do think it's very relevant to learn from each other's problems. So, problem number one: listening to everybody. I was new on this journey, so I would consume as much as I can from everyone who said, learn from this, learn from that. You guys probably know the issue. There are so many resources out there. Where do you start? Do this, do that. I have a specific learning path to take. I was following everybody's advice, trying to learn from everybody, but I didn't. I and didn't have the capacity myself. I wanted to be like other successful bug bounty hunters. So my mind was puzzled and I was not really learning something that was helpful on my own journey to help me find a good bug. Problem number two is I didn't focus enough. To be successful in everything, one must focus. You can't do anything without focus. So focus on one thing and finish that. Don't jump from one thing to another thing, which is really strange, by the way, because for me, myself, I have ADHD and I have it really bad at certain things. But in hacking, I can hyper focus, no problem. It's like I have a completely different world and I can do that hours on end, which is totally different than, for example, if I have to work on other things like UA stuff or whatever. So uh, I really do think that this hyper focus is an advantage, but it can also be a real disadvantage because getting yourself to get started is like, oh my God, push, 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 you know, really hard. I was doing that mistake. I was learning about XSS and then I got bored of it. So I started learning Python, then binary exploitation. Then I started learning about SSRF, then bash, then steganography. Everything was so unorganized. I was just jumping like a monkey on one thing to the next. So I had a lack of focus. I was learning so much little things all together and then switching over. That being said, there's also this saying, I don't know if you know it, jack of all trades, master of none. But that, that is not the full phrase. The thing is, it is often good to have many different aspects of yourself. Like, for example, I know all of these things to a very reasonable degree. 
Python, PHP, uh, SSRF, XSS, CSRF, there are all of these things that are known to a very reasonable de degree, but there's nothing that I'm super, super specialized in. Not even cross-site scripting, and you might say, but uncle, you're the XSS rat. Well, that's very true, but still, like, I nowhere near compared to people like Brute Logic. Uh, uh, just to say, and by the way, the full phrase is, Jack of all trades, master of none, though oftentimes better than master of one. So don't make a mistake. Like I did, try to focus on one thing till you are at least decent at it and try to be pretty good. Then learn from something else. Problem number three was not having any persistency. How passionate you are, if you don't have persistence, then you never finish things that you started learning. So even if you are super passionate, but you don't have this um, motivation, inherent motivation, that is the only key to success is what this guy is saying. And I totally agree with that because there are going to be days that you feel like hacking and there are going to be days that you don't feel like hacking. But what is key is that on those days that you don't feel like that you push through, that you do what needs to be done in every single day, that you look around you, you organize a little bit and you try to become better every single day a little bit. Over the course of a year, that's 365 small improvements you've made every day. But that makes into a massive, massive difference. So take that as you will. You need persistence to complete what you have started. I was making this mistake, so I don't understand why I don't feel like I was growing. Why I don't feel like I'm learning something if I didn't stick to it. Now I know the answer. I was not persistent enough to end what I have started. Problem number four is not having a clean goal. I had no clean goals where I wanted to see myself after a year, after a month and after a week. And I will even put that further. I always like, I, I, I teach students, I coach students, by the way, if you want to know more info about that, you can mail support at the But basically what I try to ask my students, my coaches is, okay, now imagine yourself in a day, a week, a month, a year, and 10 years. What would be the ideal you, the ideal version of yourself? That is something that you can work towards and strive towards. But also, I ask my students often, what have you learned? Summarize to me what you've learned. And that is a very difficult task. So indeed, make sure that you know where you want to go, but at all times, you should be able to know where you are. That is why notes are so freaking important, my friends. Dreams without goals are just dreams. Make goals to achieve your dreams. And one thing I will suggest to you, if you set goals, then set on that, you will never lose. I think what he's trying to say here is if you set goals, and you set your mind to it and you have persistence, then it's almost impossible to lose. Example, if your dream is to buy a Lambo, then don't set goals like I need to earn 100,000 in a year or so. How can I get 100,000? Then the answer will be I need to start a business, freelancing, YouTube channel. You'll find the easiest way to earn money and forget your passion because learning skills that you are passionate about is tough. And that is very true, especially after a while, because in the beginning, things are novel. You learn a lot really fast in a small time period. But after a little bit, that goes wrong because then you're going to start learning like a little, little bit less over time, a little bit less. And eventually you're going to be at this point where you're not really learning all that much, plateauing a little bit. The amount of effort that you have to put into learning new things is not proportional to what you're learning. So set a goal that you will never lose. Like I need to find a thousand XSS so I can get to a thousand times a hundred dollars. It's a hundred K in a year to buy a Lambo. I really like your goals, my friends. One K XSS, it, I'm not gonna say no to that. So then achieve mastery in all types of XSS. So to achieve mastery, I need to learn this, this and that in one year. So to learn that I need to learn this. Jeez, I'm really sorry guys. This and that every month and break it into every day and then into every hour. So what he's trying to say here is that you need to have concrete goals that you break down into small steps. And I would even say don't break it down into hourly steps. Break it down into chunks that are as small as possible because 
tackling a massive mountain is massive, but doing that step by step by step is already a lot easier. And you don't need to finish tomorrow. That's also important. You need to give yourself enough time. Note what did I mean never lose. Set goals to develop yourself directly or indirectly because someone easily can take everything from you or you can lose everything in a minute. But you will never lose your skills and no one can take that away from you. Indeed, that's true. <laughs> Sorry about that. She's so cute. I love her to death. Problem number five, don't track my progress. I was not tracking my goals, so I easily lose and forget what is my goal, and I'm not able to improve my goals. So it's important to track your progress every day. What I did was I made notes, and you can really easily see that there are certain types of exploits which you can group together, and you can start making notes on that exploit. You can start making cheat sheets on that exploit, but you need something like Notion or whatever you're most comfortable with, Obsidian, it doesn't matter, as long as you can make notes in the cloud because if your computer ever crashes you need to be able to retrieve those then for problem number six i did not have any daily routines i had no daily routine so i easily forgot what i was learning tomorrow because i need to do my college this work so i was not able to give my 100 percent focus on hacking this guy sounds like he has adhd as well i shouldn't diagnose people over the internet that is definitely not my place but this sounds like something that i also have a problem with because today I'm learning something and tomorrow I will forget what I have learned. I'm not joking. I will set a, a whole Jenkins system with a Discord bot in like an hour. And then tomorrow, if you tell me about that I did that, I was like, really? Are you joking? And then I, oh yeah, I did do that. What the hell is wrong with me? So now I have to develop a daily routine to follow. And this daily routine will help me to achieve my goals. Very true. People like us, we hate routine. And people like us need routine. I know it's a catch-22, but try not to think about it too much. You'll drive yourself crazy. So how I solved my problems was, number one, I started tracking my progress every minute with the Angros app. That's a great app to start with. I have a clean goal now, and I know where I want to see myself in one year. The best way to grow is to start comparing yourself with one week ago to you. I suggest to use the Habitica to make habits and complete goals and tasks. Journaling every day and write down everything that you have done in this one week and what goal you should achieve. Everything you can write down in a diary or in Evernote. I like to put things in a physical book. I like to write things down with my hand. Why is that? I'm old. That's true. I'm 32 years old. <laughs> I'm about to retire. Geez. But also because it takes away my focus from what I'm learning when I have to make notes on a computer. It takes time. It takes focus. I'm context switching and I don't want to do that. I can make notes on paper almost automatically and then I can later structure them how I want to. Just an extra tip. Make your own path. Learn from everyone but follow no one. I have made my own path. I have made my own technique to win and achieving my goals. That's a great tip because I always say you need to take from other people what works for you and integrate that into your own routine not take mine don't take now i'm sick don't take it anybody is not inside your pg like you can look at our methodologies but know that we don't really have any that's the first thing and the second thing is also like the thing is you have like a methodology of course but it's not as people think uh, so make habits morning is so important i have fixed morning habits yes i am not that guy in the film who will whack in the night i like to do that in the morning because i feel so energetic and i have no distractions in the morning it's great that you know yourself taking care of my health yes health is the biggest asset so you need to take care you need to sharpen your mind every day i started meditation and also exercising in the morning Nothing is as good as exercises, my friend, so get off that lazy ass. There's also some questions you need to ask yourself every week to track your progress, which he included, which I love. What things have changed in me? What is my thinking now? What things happened good this week? And also bad, of course. What goals did I not achieve? Why did I not achieve them? And what is the important task this week? How will I achieve them? 
How can I make things faster, easier? How can I optimize? How can I improve goals, habits, tasks, etc.? And what am I not doing even though I know I should be? This is so great, this article. I really love this. I'm going to put this in the description below. And I'm going to, of course, add unknown user of 1806 in the description with all of his socials. Thank you so much. This really deserves a clap, you amazing hacker. I am so proud of you. If you guys have an article that you would like me to take a look at, feel free to leave a comment below. I love giving feedback because starting from zero is really difficult, as you might have imagined, because I don't know what you guys need. I don't know what you guys want to learn. I have the knowledge. I just need to know how to bring it over to you guys best. And additions like this, I think, are super helpful. Anyway, my friends, hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one.